We no afraid, we no see no one where we afraid of. We no afraid, we no see no one where we afraid of. Yeah, this is Everton Blender. And it's all about the young police from Jamaica. Seeing young police channel. Big up yourself. Everton Blender said that. We no afraid, we no see no one where we afraid of. Blessed love, Rastafari. Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Moving on to today's video yeah so you know it's with a heavy heart that we have to report um you know the death of two young police officers and you're looking at them right now um constables jessica west that's the officer on the left and then um constable sean atkins you know um were pronounced dead by dr s williams at mapin hospital clarendon on september 15th 2024 at 6 55 p.m so, you know, uh, we at the Jamaica Young Police and want to extend uh, of our deepest condolences, you know, and the tragic loss of both police officers. Uh, we were young too, you know. Yeah, we were young police officers too. And, you know, you saw station in Clarendon, Mapin, Clarendon and Crafts Hill. And it's, as we stated before, you know, um, the, the 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 work that these young police officers you know leave in the jump arm um, the national police college of jamaica i say yeah uh, leave in the national police college in jamaica and then after graduating um these young police officers they're not going to, um you know they're not going through the rigors that we went through to get them to be solid police officers they as they leave training school they put them on this ost uh, in which, you know, senior detectives, they call it only special thieves because whether well, or not you want to believe it that these police officers who are working on these OST, they are, you know, mostly thieves. Uh, it's just sad, I just saw it go. You know, so the detectives, them who used to do the work at the police force, reducing crime, driving fear in the heart of criminals, they are the ones that, they're my bank teller now, the PMP criminal organization, when they were in government, bench them. And the Jamaica Labour Party continue the same. So as we tell you, you know, one is only a little bit better than the other. Reason being, uh, when the detective were in charge of fighting crime in a Jamaica, you used to have name brand police. When we say name brand police, Cri wait, you as a detective, you drive fear in the heart of criminal. Because even all even yours truly, um, can you like one of the latest incidents when I was there before me leave once be when um go back to. First, even go back to work and go back to go look for one boy named Big Lead. He wasn't there and the mother start ball out. Yeah, start ball, say, Whoa, all kind of things. That's what name brand police do. Them bench the detective, them, so all of them things then. Water on the bridge. So the people, them, them don't have any relationship with the police anymore. But our deepest condolences to these police officers. This is, you know, you understand. So it's a tragic motor vehicle collision claims the lives of two officers and injured two others in Clarendon. We know that the police officer who was driving, why we know so him as much as he's alive, you know, he must live with you know what happened and in conscience. Whether I'm in a speed or all kind of things, so we don't know. So on the evening of Sunday, September 15, 2024. At approximately 6.40 p.m., a tragic motor vehicle accident occurred along the Yorktown Maid Road in Clarendon. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. how name? Yorktown Mon uh, Monimus, that are down in the Keen part. Yeah, leave, yeah, leaving two police officers dead and two others seriously injured. The incident 
involved members of the Era 3 operational team who were on duty responding to a call about three suspects on a motorcycle spotted in the vicinity. Oh, three men for the pan. Why? Three men on a motorcycle. Wow. So the team consisting, consisting of, I don't know why them old, you know, why? I was even praising the commissioner the other day for some things, you know, that they're not um, making the name of police officers, you know, out there involving fatal shooting in public. But see, even this now, this is public information with this policeman, the policeman. You know, team consists of, you know, the Sergeant S. Simpson, the driver, um, 24-74-2, Constable D. Cameron, 24-6-72, so she, more or less, she's senior him, you know. Yeah, um, Constable Jessica West, so West, she's senior, based on them number, she's senior, West, she's senior, Cameron, and... More or less, it's more or less she and um, she and um, Sean Atkins with them, them are batchmates. We're traveling in service vehicle, registered A Alpha H Hotel Q Quebec 212, heading towards me when the vehicle skid. Sergeant Simpson lost control, causing the vehicle to overturn and crash into a ditch on the right hand side of the road. So more or less the police officers then them, them they did not have on their seatbelt. In which I'm supposed to wear them seatbelt. Because I can tell you this, even um in the military, uh, um, we have a thing named Umvi, you know, before you get deployed and you have a training night and you have to know if you save yourself if the Umvi roll over car, you know the Arab them used to them build something where you call um IED where them place on the road and them use all kind of Various statics of a kill way and them thing over there in Iraq and Afghanistan. So, them teach you all of them things. So, although you in the vehicle, yes, although you drive in a vehicle, you can't drive and you cannot in the vehicle and don't have on your seatbelt. War zone, you know. So, we don't see why the police them in Jamaica, why they are traveling and they don't have on them seatbelt. Because if both officers had on their seatbelt, that would save them life. We don't ask you, we we'll tell you. Because um, this is something, data. As we tell us, the data, you know, data is a stubborn, stubborn thing. You can't beat them. So the officers were quickly assisted by other Era 3 members and the Clarington Operational Support Team, led by Inspector Campbell, and were rushed to the Mapian Hospital. So despite their best efforts, the medical team was unable to save two of the officers. Constable Jessica West was pronounced dead by Dr. S. Williams at 6.55 p.m., and Constable Sean Atkins was pronounced dead just minutes later by Dr. K. Griffiths at 6.58 p.m. So Sergeant Simpson and Constable Cameron were seriously injured, were stabilized and are currently receiving treatment. Their condition remained critical but stable. So this incident has sent shockwave through the police community who mourned the loss of two of their own. Both Constable West and Atkins were dedicated officers who served their community with distinction and bravery. Their commitment to upholding the law and protecting the citizens of Jamaica will forever be remembered. Alright, we all here say anything, then police dead upon duty, the commissioner of police will promote them. We know this now going to happen because we, not, we haven't seen it happening. Even a policeman, um, Fear Clifford, that was killed. That's one of the things we're not even read about the commissioner and anything because in the, he, he, he didn't came through the ranks like Francis Sabs. Francis Sabs was the last commissioner of police and Lucius Thomas. Francis Sabs and Lucius Thomas, because they came, them came through the ranks from constable, so they know the struggle. I know that, you understand? I know, you know, I know that when the police, police officers die in their line of duty, promoting them, giving the family um, and the dependent them a little more benefits. But you have to understand that these people are heartless people. They are there to... Um, to watch the, you know, to protect the kitty, according to them, you understand? So, I just saw it go. So, we extend our deepest sympathies to the families, friends, and colleagues of these fallen heroes. That we call them in Jamaica. Back then, uh, they never used to do that, and nobody would tell about the tanks in the service. Them. People eat, yeah, you must. Uh, in Jamaica right now, if you are a criminal, people respect you more than a police. 
And some people that say, man, are you serious? Well, I tell you, I saw it going in Jamaica. In Jamaica, you have police, people disrespect you worse than. But they not disrespect criminal. Because criminal, no, they have to show them respect. Because criminal will dust them out. And you understand, and the chance of them going to prison, slim to none. But you as a police, yeah, you know, I just saw it go. So the system is designed. It's a criminal's paradise. So we extend our deepest sympathies to the families, friends and colleagues of these falling heroes. Yeah man, Constable Atkins and West. So the Jamaica Constable refers us to two courageous individuals who made the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. Our thoughts and prayers go out to all those affected by this tragic event, especially to Sergeant Simpson and Constable Cameron as they continue to fight for their recovery. So as we grieve this tremendous loss, let us remember the courage, dedication and service of Constable Jessica West and Constable Sean Atkins and honor the sacrifice they made in the line of duty. So may their soul rest in peace. So this tragic accident serves as a sobering reminder of the risks faced by law enforcement officers every day as they work to protect and serve our communities. Constable Jessica West and Constable Sean Atkins pay the ultimate price while fulfilling their duties and their loss will be deeply felt by their loved ones, fellow officers and the entire nation. Why well, we doubt if the entire nation are joke because we have seen a video where some man a some man a celebrate, yeah man. Yeah, we have seen a video with some we're not we we're, we're not sure it was um yeah, three men in our vehicle, three different voices and yeah, them are celebrate with them them video them video the scene and them are rejoice and you know the, the, the words of the music you know so them are real criminal. Yeah man. So as we continue to hope for the recovery of Sergeant Simpson and Constable Cameron, let us reflect on the bravery and dedication of all those who put their lives on the line to maintain peace and security. The memory of Constable West and Atkins will remain with us, a testament to their unwavering commitment to justice and to the safety of Jamaica. May their sacrifice inspire us to support and stand by the men and women of the Jamaica Constable Air Force who, in even the face of danger, strive to make our community safer. safer. So, so rest in peace, brave officers, and you will not be forgotten. So to the family of these police officers, we know that your pain, you know, no one can, pain on something you can measure, because losing a, f a loved one is very painful. I have experienced the same, you know, losing friends, best friends, you know. I had a friend that, um, when I talk about best friend, but when I talk about there was a policeman, there was no one that even close that I had, had that band that I had. Yeah, man, that's even um, that I had with this policeman. Yeah, man, when I tell you, so when he was killed, you know, for hours, man, for hours when him dead, you know, when I tell you, so I was in a shower, man, crying for like four hours. Never cried like that in my life. That's even my best friend dead because. Um, my best friend died on a Sunday and I had seen him the Friday and you know it's like it it seemed like some people in life them always are a premonition you know before them dead but you they cannot uh, they, they could not even fathom what they were doing but you after them pass on then you understand what I'm saying so I just say uh, life you know life is fragile and the most important thing nothing nothing beat love you know you understand and it is just sad, you know, because they were young, 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 young people. You know, as we tell us, you know, the, the tragic events that stark reminder of how life, how fragile life truly is. In a moment that, you know, that in, in, in a moment, the lives of these officers were irrevocable change. The two young lives were cut short while serving their country. The damn country did the country and um, really respect and honor them and love them. No, we can't tell you that. The people, the, 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 the majority of Jamaican people not like police. Or should I say some. And those who like the police, them can't even make it known. Because you live in a certain community, you can't make the people them know say you like police because you were dead for that. I just saw it go. We are telling you that as a Jamaican. So it highlights the it highlights the unpredictability 
of life and the importance of cherishing every moment we have with our loved ones. So the passing of Constable Jessica West and Constable Sean Atkins is not just a loss to their families, but to the entire nation. Their service was a testament to their character, courage and commitment to their duty. So as we mourn, we are reminded that life is precious and fleeting and we must take every opportunity to express our gratitude and love to those around us. In this moment of grief, let us hold close the memories of those who have left us and be very mindful of the fragility of life. We honor this sacrifice by living with a purpose, kindness and a renewed appreciation for the time we have. Again, you know, we wish, um, we wish the family all the best and there's nothing that we can say to heal the pain and you know, losing your loved ones. I want to say that to a young police officer. I remember, we, yeah, man, we did just like how uh, we did young too. You never, you know, you understand, as a teenager, you know, that was years ago that, you understand, in the late 80s. But back then, in the 80s, when you're a police officer, the country, yeah, man, the island, show respect, uh, respect for you as a police officer. Well, I will tell you, everything starts in road from 1989, February, when Michael Manley, one day election. That's when criminality and the hatred for police return and them start normalized criminality. Have a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel out.